Hi everybody, it's Abel Flores. I was going to give you a tip and trick to help you figure out the Garmin 750 if it is not charging. Uh, I ended up having to call Garmin, so I'm going to save you the trouble and kind of explain what they told me. Alright, we'll go down the basics. What was I experiencing? It was not charging. They told me that I needed to look at, go to setup, scroll down to about. Look at your version of the software. Okay. How do I had a couple of things. Whenever I ended up plugging it in, it turned on. I read the instructions. It kind of sounds like you leave it on when charging. Um, it could be because the software that's causing a couple of issues. But I didn't know if I left it on or turned it off. Okay, you could either do both. You could leave it on or turn it off and it will continue to charge. All right. The power save mode, you're going to have to go into your setup, go down to display, go to battery save, flip that on, and you should just be able to press the power button, hold for two seconds, and it'll shut off, run in the background. I Bluetooth my Garmin to my phone. Um, I went to the app, downloaded the app. Uh, it's more for a health tracker, not real much for hunting, fishing, that sort of stuff. More toward the watch health. All right. The FCC license, you're going to end up having to contact them directly and let's begin. I ended up telling them that my Garmin was not charging, plugged it in the wall, um, left it on for over an hour. I never got anything after I unplugged it. It died. It drained. Um, after that, I turned it off, charged it for over an hour. Nothing. It died, drained once I plugged it out. Unplugged it. Uh, plugged it to a computer, nothing. So I gave them a call. They told me um, to do an update on it after I look, after I told them what software I had. Uh, they sent me a link uh, G through my Gmail, and here it is. This is the process. All right. After clicking the link, you're going to scroll down. You're going to find which Garmin you have. Mine is the 750. So I clicked this one. This Express. It loaded up. I already done so. I installed. And once I connected my Garmin to the computer after it was downloaded... It quickly connected itself. It registered as the Rhino 750. I didn't even have to find it. Now I'm naming my device the Guardian. And let's see. Alright, I'm going to pause it. And I will... Oh, there it goes. Checking for update. I'm going to install. Accept. Alrighty, I'm up to date. 
Or hold on, let me go down and see. I'm gonna minimize this. And read the instructions. There's the instructions right here. Okay, let's disconnect. Here, I don't want to do this with one hand. I'm going to pause it. Alright guys, I plugged it in because it's still completely drained. And there you have it, guys. Step by step. How to do the installation. Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead and have to do this again. Because my version was still... It was still an old version, so I believe you need to press sync. Whenever number 9, it shows you up to date, you need to press sync. Don't forget that. And it'll sync to it. I'm so gonna do it again. Okay, I guess you didn't need to. Now it says disconnect your Garmin. All right, let's check new software. After I pressed sync, let's see what happens. We're get, we're supposed to go to about and see the version 4.4, 4, not 2.20. Or whatever it was. Go to about. And there you have it, guys. I apologize on the ending of the other video. But press sync before. Now, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.